Good morning, boys and girls. It is Thursday, April 9th, 2020, and I've decided I'm going to stop giving weather reports since I was wrong about yesterday. It was not rainy at all. It was a beautiful day. So I think I should keep my day job and stop predicting the weather. So today I wanted to just say, I know many of you have family members who are either doctors or nurses or work in the hospitals. Um, so right now we wanted to thank them for all their hard work for helping people. They really are heroes. So just thank you to all the family members that you have who are really being so generous and helpful um, and really making a difference to people who are sick right now. Our fact of the day from Snapple. Storm clouds hold about 6 trillion raindrops. That is a lot of raindrops. Our quote of the day is from Olaf. Some people are worth melting for. And that may be a little bit of a hint about our virtual field trip that's coming up. Our affirmation today is I am free. I release my attachments and liberate my spirit. Well, our schedules are certainly free nowadays. Um, we have a little more free time to do some things that maybe we've been wanting to do. Um, secluded is another appropriate word for today. It means quiet or remote, like a place where you can be completely alone. And there's certainly lots of social distancing happening in that picture for secluded. All right, we have our paragraph about Emma. Thank you to Mackenzie for the sentence suggestion. I just changed it a little bit to use some ideas that the other classmates suggested about Emma being artistic. So here is Emma's paragraph. Emma, here comes an artistic, kind kid, Emma. You can find Emma drawing her favorite activity. Maybe she's drawing Pomeranians, which are her favorite breed of dogs, or maybe Siamese cats, which are her favorite animal. If Emma isn't drawing, she may be reading a book by Roald Dahl, who is her favorite author. She loves the book Matilda, which was written by Roald Dahl. If Emma isn't drawing or reading, she may be playing Roblox or watching her favorite television show, Bok Fu. We are so lucky to have Emma, an artistic, smart, and kind friend in our class. And Emma has a beautiful read aloud for you today called The Sandman by William Joyce. And you can find that in our Thoughtful Third Greeter section. Emma's TTG Read Aloud. Okay, that is where you're going to find Emma's beautiful book for you today. All right, so excited. We are taking off on our first virtual class field trip. We are going to the Magic Kingdom. So you're going to find this in our I don't want to show you all the trips. Okay, here's where you're going to find it. Okay, and you're going to click here and it will take you to the buttons that I just showed you. When you click on that link, it's going to bring you here. Okay, and so all of these links will take you to different rides that you would find if you were in the Magic Kingdom in Disney World in Florida. So today we're asking you to choose some of them. Um, and pretend that you are there in Disney World. Um, maybe you'll want to watch the electrical parade or go on the railroad, be part of the Jungle Cruise. Okay, so many fun things to do. So you want to take a little tour of the Magic Kingdom. If you've been there before, then this might bring back some memories. And if you've never been, it gives you kind of an insider's look at what the Magic Kingdom is like. After you do that, we're giving you some options. There will be a link to a Flipgrid where you could talk about your time at the Magic Kingdom. Um, you could also fill out a postcard. So um, you will see that there is a postcard that you can click on. And this gray box is typable. All the gray boxes are. Okay, so I wrote a sample postcard. And for the address, I just put a made up address, but you don't have to put the real address. Um, you could just put the name of the person their street address and their town here, and you can just make that up to anything you want. This is my sister though, so I wrote, Dear Christine, I'm here at the Magic Kingdom in Florida. One of my favorite rides has been the Small World Ride. I like seeing all the dolls in different countries represented. I also love the electrical parade. Everything looks so beautiful. 
all lit up and it's fun to see favorite characters. Miss you, wish you were here, love Kathleen. So you can um, do either one, make a postcard or a flip grid or both if you feel like it. All right, so for today, our to-dos, um, we have a really fun fractions kahoot in our Thursday check-in. So if you go to our morning daily check-in, um, you will see it here. Just click on it and it's gonna take you right to the link for Kahoot. Okay, and you can review um, your fractions facts there. Then you wanna to listen to Emma's read aloud. I showed you where that was in the TTG section. Our virtual field trip to the Magic Kingdom. And some options, you can leave a Flipgrid video or make a postcard about your experience. Um, today I'm reading chapters 13 through 15 for the Tale of Despero, and that brings us to the end of the first section of the book. I'm not going to have um, a chapter for you for tomorrow. I will be back Monday with the next section of the book. So if you've missed any chapters so far, now is your chance to catch up with us for the Tale of Despero, and Monday we will have the next part of the story. Keep taking part in the blogging challenge. I will be updating your badges from the week. And we have a weekend coming up where you can earn some weekend badges too. Oh, and I want to show you this new math facts game. If you go under home learning math, there is a fun flashcard practice game that you can do where you can choose if you want addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division, and then you choose the answer. And it's kind of a fun game. If you wanted some multiplication, you just have to wait till the first flashcard goes and then they switch it up for you. Okay, so it could be a fun way for you to practice some of your math facts as well. Okay, and then we hope that you are doing your independent reading always. Um, and that is it for today. Keeping it a little bit lighter today and tomorrow. Um, if you haven't done any of our past assignments, like the digital reading journal, the math 10 times table, the grilled cheese math, your New York writing math, it's a good time to catch up. Also, any of your um, special area Google Classroom work, like Innovation Lab or um, any of the other specials that have been asking you to do different projects. All right, we are wishing you a magical day. I hope you enjoyed the Magic Kingdom. Tomorrow we take another field trip. We'll be taking one every day through next week. So I'm really excited to share all these with you. Have a great day, everybody.